What is going on YouTube? Crafty here and we are back again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about the balance changes coming out today, Friday, 8-11. And yeah, there's a ton of stuff today. Um, just a quick overview real quick. The Night Witch just got gutted, like absolutely gutted. They nerfed literally everything about her. Um, it might have been too much. Uh, we'll take a look at it. We'll see. This is going to be a pretty short video. I'm just going to go over what my thoughts are, what I think could have been done better, what I think they shouldn't have done. Whatever. It's Friday discussion. As always, leave your comments down below as to what you guys think should have happened. If you guys think something else needs addressed, let me know that down below. While you're down there, drop a like button. It helps me out a ton. Let's leave a like for the Night Witch getting nerfed. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to go down. We see here, the first one here is Night Witch. I think literally they just did this to, to please the community because people were complaining about her way too much. And rightfully so, she was broken. She actually created multiple metas just because of her. So Night Witch, you have the damage reduction by 9%, range reduction by 11%, bat speeds or bat spawn speed up to 7 seconds instead of 6, spawns 2 bats on death instead of 3. Now, these are all relatively minor changes aside from i'd say maybe her bat spawn on her death and but the, altogether it's a lot so let's take a look so damage nine percent i don't think that's a huge deal she's doing 285 damage per hit currently so a nine percent reduction isn't a whole lot i don't want to do that math if you guys want to do that math leave a comment down below with the math that you came up with um, so it's not a whole lot of damage reduction, but it will change her interactions. Some people may, some other cards may be lasting a little bit longer playing against her. Um, then you have also the range reduction of 11%. So if you notice that she had like the uh, Prince range basically, so she could uh, stab a little bit farther than other cards. I didn't think that she needed that in the first place. This was allowing her to do a little bit too much. People, people were saying basically that she can attack the princess tower and if the king tower is what's it called if the king tower is activated it couldn't shoot her because it was keeping her just outside the range now it can i think this is a good nerf i don't think it's something that i would have ever thought to do so i could see where why they came up with it but i don't think it was something <laughs> that people were asking for but it's kind of a good thing i guess i can't really complain bye bye night witch next up you have the bat spawn speed to seven seconds instead of six this is something that, honestly, I think it should have been in the first place. That is the same spawn speed as the regular or the regular witch, which is seven seconds for you. You spawn the skeleton. She spawns three skeletons, so it is probably a little bit better in her favor because she's got more skeletons instead of so three skeletons instead of two bats. Um, it's a little bit different there, but I think bats are vastly superior to skeletons, in my personal opinion. Depends on what card you're going up against, but yeah. And also, you have to consider that the Night Witch costs one less elixir and is doing significantly more damage. Whatever. Whatever you guys think. Here we go. Move on to the next part. You have spawns two bats on death instead of three. Uh, I think this is, could have been a little bit overboard. I think three was fine. Two, I think, is also still going to be fine. So when we add all these together, she's going to be doing a lot less. I don't... <laughs> Honestly, I don't think she's going to fall out of the meta. A lot of people are saying they killed her, and, and they did gut her in a sense that they literally nerfed everything. But I don't think it's going to kill her. I think she'll still be at a pretty okay card. She's going to be a card that continues to get played as long as she's spawning bats, and as long as she's hitting very hard, she's going to do the same thing. You know, it, that's how it works. I feel like the best way to nerf her would uh, make her cost 5 elixir instead of 4 elixir, honestly. I don't think they needed to touch anything else. Maybe her death spawn, I don't know. Yeah, 5 Elixir instead of 4, I think she would have been very balanced in that sense. Next up, we have the Battle Ram. You guys know my opinions on the Battle Ram. I personally believe this card is not OP at all, did not need touch. In fact, this is one of those cards that, in my opinion, is really not that great. It's only good because of the current meta. Give it a month or so, and it's going to fall out of meta. People aren't going to use it again. Go back a month, nobody was using this card. This was a card that was seen in as incredibly weak because the Hog Rider basically did the same thing, but was just much better. Now that we have a couple new cards in here, this card is shining, but when metas change, this card's gonna fall straight out. It's balanced, and the current meta, yeah, it may be a little bit strong, doesn't need a butt or a nerf. So what we see here is it takes a little bit of damage, or it takes a bit longer to begin charging, so four seconds instead of three seconds, and then also Barbarian spawns slower. I don't think that's a big deal. I believe it was a 0.2 second difference. Now, it may affect some interaction, 
I don't think this nerf is... Well, actually, no. I think four seconds for the charging is going to be a little bit ridiculous. That's going to be a long time. That should not have happened. The Barbarian spawning slower should have been enough to bring this to balance. This card is not OP enough to have two different balance changes, especially one that is literally a whole second in difference. You zap this thing, you have E-Wiz, whatever. This thing's never touching a tower. Ever. So, I don't know. That's super frustrating. Don't think it should have happened. I hope they revert that or do something else to compensate for it. It'll probably still be a good card, though. Okay, next up we have the Graveyard. Duration to uh, 9 seconds instead of 10 seconds, so basically you're spawning 15 skeletons instead of 17. That is a good change, although they did not address what is wrong with the Graveyard. The reason why people want the Graveyard nerfed is not because of how strong it is, it's because of RNG. People don't like random num number generators in competitive games. That's just a bad way to make a competitive game. When you add randomness into something that is supposed to be 100% about skill, then it changes the game drastically and it, for, for a bad way. It, it's an unhealthy, completely unhealthy card to be in the game. This may make it a little bit less frustrating to play against, but they're not addressing the issue that is is really what the matter is. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't really have a lot of feelings about this. I don't think they did enough to it. It's still going to be annoying. One more second really isn't that big of a deal. Two more skeletons. Yeah, I mean, it could affect a lot if you leave it unanswered. It may be a little bit easier to counter. I don't know. Not a fan of this change here. Next up, Electro Wizard, hit points minus 2%. I believe basically what this did was it allowed it to be... It basically allowed it to be two shot by another... I can't remember what it was. Um, I don't think this is a bad change. This is a good change. Or maybe it was... Yeah, I think it was two shot by the Mini P.E.K.K.A. The new Mini P.E.K.K.A. buff. We'll see that in a second. I can't remember. Watch Warren Juice's video for that one, but this is pretty much my discussion and my opinions here. His was all factual stuff, so go watch Warren Juice's video. Um, heal. Duration to 2.5 seconds instead of 3 seconds. They nerfed it by about 200 health. That's not what the issue with heal is. It, it wasn't that it was healing too much. They're addressing the, completely the wrong thing here. Heal was not healing too much health. It was the fact that you could keep characters that survived with the sliver of health you could keep them alive and generally put them back to close to what they had at full so you would need now with heal still with heal you're still going to need two fireballs to take out a musketeer it, either way like it, it ah, the the problem with heal is the fact that it's keeping a lot of characters that don't have direct counters in terms of spells or at least a, a counter that's even traded um in terms of spells, it's keeping those characters alive to be a lot more effective. Three muskies, regular musketeer, you have, um, if you zap minion horde, other things like that. Obviously you have arrows for minion horde or arrows for minions, but it is kind of frustrating because zap puts them one shot, this brings them back up to full health. If you heal them on top of a tower, say bye bye to your tower. They just totally didn't address what the issue with heal was here. So I don't know. It's kind of, in my opinion, it is a card that is uh, unhealthy it's just totally unhealthy for the game kind of like graveyard not for the same reasons though okay next up mini pekka it got a damage buff 4.6 percent basically this allows it to i believe it allows it to two shot a lot of uh, middle tiered cards in terms of health so like wizard um i think it was wizard ice wizard and electro wizard and I think there was another one, I can't remember. But basically, this is going to change a lot of its interactions. I believe Orange Juice was saying that it's going to make it so that it kills the Golem in one less hit or other cards that are also pretty tanky. It kills them in one less hit, which is huge. The Mini P.E.K.K.A. got tons of interact buffs here as well with uh, the Electro Wizard going down in health. There's another buff later on we see with the Ice Wizard. Um, there, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that made this card a little bit better. The mini peck, I think I, we could definitely see this thing coming into prominence here, especially with the Night Witch going down. The Night Witch was basically overshadowing the mini P.E.K.K.A. because it was doing tons of damage as a tank shredder. Now the mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to see a little bit more value, and that is absolutely huge in my opinion. Very, very good buff. That's probably the best buff slash nerf, whatever, on the entire <laughs> update here. Next up, Expo and Mortar both got a deploy time of 3.5 seconds instead of 4 seconds. I hate this. I don't like the Expo and I don't like the Mortar. They're cards that are absolutely not fun to me in this game to either play or play against. I know there's a lot of fun 
or people out there that like Expo and Mortar and that enjoy Siege decks, I hate Siege decks. They're not fun to play, they're not fun to play against. Personal opinion, that shouldn't be um, what they choose to balance around, but in my personal opinion, they are just aren't fun. Um, so I don't like to see this. Are they cards that were already strong? Yes. <laughs> I've been hearing people complain about Mortar decks. Oh complain about mortar decks for so long now expo is one of those cards that people see as relatively uh bad or like not great so i could understand the expo but people already don't like mortar decks mortar decks are already prominent so i don't understand this one at least on the mortar but and it's also going to be harder to place a troop down while they're spawning so you can distract it it's going to lock onto the tower so much easier now ah not a fan of that one next up we got the dank prince here we got damage plus 6%, hit speed uh, from 1.4 seconds, or to 1.4 seconds instead of 1.5. So they may give it a faster hit speed and give it more damage. That is a very good buff. The Dink Prince is one of those cards that you don't see played a whole lot, especially at a higher tier in the game. The people that do play it are very good with him. That's kind of what I was talking about yesterday in my previous video. But that being said, he needed a buff. He was, I think he's actually one of the lowest played cards in the entire game. So that's awesome that they buffed him. I think this should help him a little bit. I don't know what it does for his interactions, but I think that'll be a pretty nice thing. I think Orange Juice was saying that he kills the knight in one less hit, which is really good. Okay, so now we have the Ice Wizard. Ice Wizard here, uh, he gets a 10% damage buff. His hit speed was uh, reduced from 1.7, or from 1.5 seconds to 1.7 seconds. Basically, he can now kill skeletons and bats in one shot. Very, very good buff. I believe he kills archers in one shot and goblin, or not one, in one less shot, goblins in one less shot. I love this buff. This is something that everybody's been asking for. I think we're gonna see this card rise to prominence within the next few days or the next few weeks. This card is going to be very good. Not gonna be broken, but gonna be very good. It's going to shift the entire meta. I'm predicting right now, Ice Wizard is going to change the entire meta of the game, especially with Night Witch being nerfed. Okay, this was also an indirect nerf to the Night Witch as well because now Ice Wizard can kill the bats in one shot. It's going to be incredible. Watch out for it. And with the Electro Wizard nerf as well, Ice Wizard is going to be seen as a little bit better. Bats go up to 5 instead of 4. I don't think they address the issue here. The bats are kind of cards that just are relatively invaluable or unvaluable. They, they don't really provide a lot of uh, value. With 5 of them, they can still be zapped for an even elixir trade. Um, and a lot of times, people aren't going to zap them unless there's something else in the way as well. I think, personally, what needs to happen here is they either need to give them a little bit more health and damage, or they need to make it so their one elixir kind of like skeletons. Now, the reason why skeletons are so good is you know there's only three of them and that was like a, a big thing but the reason why they're so good is not because of their damage it's because they can pull bats cannot pull and most of the aerial attackers have splash damage or other things like that so i think bats are generally <laughs> very weak unless they're supported by another card one elixir for three or maybe four bats would be very good because they don't have the capability to pull all they can do is do damage they're very lackluster right now let me know what your guys' thoughts are down below, and hit me up with that subscription button if you guys enjoyed the video. More videos to come. I'm trying to hit a video every single day, bringing it all to you guys. And if you guys liked the video, drop a like down below. And until next time, guys, peace out and God bless.